Look, this video is focused on the registration process of Binance. That's the Binance desktop. So if you're finding it difficult to create a, an account on Binance or to verify uh, your account, this video will help you out with that. Okay. I, I will also be dropping an email in the description below. So you can send me an email and I'm happy to get on a video call with you to help you out if you are having any issues with the registration of Binance. Now, I will not be creating a, a video for the mobile registration process. This is because of how the new registration process of Binance currently it's it's actually a bit tricky. You have to verify your account immediately after creating it. So, uh, well, you can reach out to me via email and I'm happy to help you out with that as soon as possible. So let's get to the video. Uh, let's switch to the dark mode as always. Now, over here, you will see the register and the login. Okay? And we'll be focused on the register button because we want to register an account. So when you click on the register button, uh, you get to this place and it automatically detects your your country. Okay? I'm in Nigeria, that's why it's showing Nigeria. Now, if you're using a VPN, it automatically shows you the current uh, locations you have to change it to Nigeria. Now you will see the personal and the entity account. Now, uh, if you want me to create a video for the entity account, do let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to do a video for that. So we'll be focused on the personal accounts for this video. So that's what the process I'll be seeing here. So when you click on the personal account, uh, this shows up. So uh, here yeah, we we'll have to put in our email address and then a strong password. Okay, so I'll put in my email address now that I'll be using for this video. So these are alias email address for creating this video. Now we'll choose a password and we'll have a list of requirements. So if you check the right hand, the pop up here, you see a green and uh, a red button that's the X red and the green one. So these are requirements from Binance for verifying an account. Okay, so yeah, your password needs to be very strong and it needs to comply with these three things. So once you click on it, as once you put in an email, uh, sorry, a password that it's strong, it automatically checks everything to a green good. And then you agree with the terms and condition and click on next. So uh, now uh, when in some cases you get an error, that's the verify failed error. Uh, please try again on the top right, as you can see the pop-up. Now this happens in most cases where you use a, a VPN to create an account or an incognito mode. So if you look at the top right, you will see a incognito button there, which means I'm using an incognito mode for this. And I purposely did that to show you why this error will come up. So when it happens, just reload and try again. But I'm advising you use a, a normal browser without an incognito and probably VPN for this to work for you. So I'll switch to a normal account and then we'll try again. So uh, if you look on here, you can see that now I'm switched to a normal account. That's a normal browser, not an incognito browser. And then uh, if you check the next button, automatically it works. Okay, so this is where you put in the verification per the code. Now it's normally sent to your email, that's the email account that you provided. Okay, so we wait for the code to come into our email. It doesn't take long for it to come in, provided you have a stable or a strong network. Okay, so you will just refresh the account a bit and hopefully the email will get in. Okay, oh, sorry, we forgot to click on the get code. Yeah, so click on the get code and the verification should come in immediately. So wait for a few minutes for that. Dun, dun, ta -ra -dun, dun. So yeah, well, the code is here already. So just open the email and then you copy the code. And you have to go back to and put in your code and then you click on the next button that's the submit button and then you get to 
the mobile verification part of it okay now on this mobile verification part you need uh, a fresh mobile phone number for this okay now if you use uh, an old phone number or more like a phone number that is already associated rather with a binance account it will give you an error code now we'll try this out and you'll see it okay, so this phone number that we are putting in now it's already linked to another account so when you click on the get code automatically you get in an error that it's already linked to another account okay so we we'll have to use a, a fresh uh, phone number for this so if you probably have an account linked initially you have to look for a fresh phone number probably get registered and uh reach a phone number and then come back for it okay so as you can see it's still giving the error why because we already have a phone number we have an account this phone number it's already linked into okay so that's why it's doing that so uh, in this case we we'll have to put in a fresh phone number that we use for this video to walk us through this process so we'll put in our phone number on here that's so this is a fresh phone number this isn't a link to any accounts yet so when you put it we'll click on next and then we'll click on our get code and the code will be sent to your phone number it shouldn't take long for you to get it and it's already sent so we we'll now have to impute the code that we received from our phone or received in our phone number rather and then we'll hit the submit button so this will now verify the phone number that we imputed okay so in this here in this section what we we'll just need to do is to verify our identity so we we'll have to uh, put in our when it loads or we'll put in our phone number sorry our first name our last name a middle name and date of birth okay so uh this should be in correspondence with uh, what you have in your id card because you on the next stage put in your uh, id card so we'll have to put in our first name or our last name and then we'll choose uh, a date of birth for this okay so these are alias so actually uh won't be using any id card for this but i will show you how it's done though so we'll select a date of birth and we'll click on continue so on this place we have to put in uh, your address your residential address which should also tally with your id card and then your postal code and your city and then you click on continue okay now this will take you to where you have to uh, put in your identification so on here you have to either submit your government issued id or your passport or your driver's license so because it's an alias like i said we won't be we won't be walking through this particular process okay but i will show you how it's done okay so the process is similar in all so you just click on it and click on continue all right and then you have to just put in your front and okay the front and the back a picture of the id card all right so it's the same thing for the passport and the driver's license and the id card so it's the same thing for all so you just put that in and then you submit okay so if the verification doesn't take long provided uh, it tallies with your what you provided on initial details okay so if you have any issues with this do let me know send me an email email is in the description below and i'm happy to help you out with the issues you're having on this particular uh, phase of the registration process so if you find this video helpful do click on the like button and also don't forget to subscribe so thanks for watching cheers